What we're going to look at now is how you use the virtual camera in Maya. So what I'm talking about is how you navigate the scene. And to be able to do that, you need a three button mouse. Here's my ugly ass three button mouse. And you need a keyboard with an alt key on it. And you use your mouse and your alt key in combination to be able to move around. So if you hold alt on your keyboard and click the left mouse button, it'll allow you to do this, uh, which is known as tumbling around. And basically what it does is um, it makes it look like your object's rotating, but it's actually the camera's rotating around the object. So there's um, that one. You can also hold Alt and the middle mouse button. And what this does is it dollies side to side. So you're now moving side to side in 3D space. And then the third button, the right mouse button, if you hold that with the Alt button on your keyboard, that will zoom in and out. So you're now moving closer or further away from the object. You can also use the scroll wheel, that little chap there, if you've got one. Uh, and you can see that will also zoom in and out, but it kind of does it in fixed increments, which is useful. I use it quite a lot because it's quicker to zoom in and out than having to reach for the keyboard from nowhere near it. But it's not as accurate as the right mouse button. So that's just another option for you. Another thing that's really useful for navigating a scene are a couple of keyboard shortcuts which frame up objects. So let's say that um, I've lost myself in 3D space and it does happen when you're, you're still new so let's say I've accidentally zoomed out too far and I've moved off to the side as well and now I've no idea where my cube is if you have it selected you can just press the F button on your keyboard like that and that will frame up what you've got selected equally um, you can also press the A button on your keyboard and that stands for frame all and that will frame up everything in your scene now because we've only got the cube when I press it It'll have exactly the same effect, but if I had um, 10 cubes in the scene, it would frame all of them so I could see all 10 rather than just showing me the one that I had selected.